In this video, I want to go over some questions on probability uh, from the table. So let's read the question. People with serious skin rash are treated either with cream A or moisturizing cream B. Okay, medical cream A or moisturizing cream B. So there are two types of treatment. Either you're using the metal, medical cream A or the moisturizing cream B. Okay, and this is the information of the total number of people who are treated, male and female. So let's understand the table. It's a good idea to just read the table. So the total number of male who were treated was 235. Total number of female was 300. And the total number of people who were treated is 535. And after the treatment, the number of people who still had rashes, or in other words, they were not cured they were not cured after the treatment or at the end of three weeks at the end of three weeks is given in the following so there were 124 male who were using cream A and from that 67 were not cured okay so the rest uh, were cured so 124 minus 67 were cured and so on so for so let's read what does how do you read this this means there were 143 female who were using moisturizing cream B and out of them 122 were not cured so the rest were cured so let's read the first question what is the proportion or what is the probability of people either sorry people treated with either medical cream A or moisturizing cream B were cured okay so the question is cured so first, uh, it is the question, people who were treated either with cream A or B. So what's the total number of people who were either treated by cream A or cream B? Well, that is, that is 535. Okay, so that is out of 535. So always decide what is out of. So it's the total number of people who were treated okay and from that how many were the question is how many were cured so how many were cured that would be the cured would be 535 535 take away 361 okay so you can use your calculator which is 174 so 174 over 535 so you can use a calculator and uh, uh, that you can leave it this as the answer so this is the answer as a proportion okay it's not a probability this is a proportion 174 out of 535 okay you can write this as a decimal if you want okay the next question is what proportion of males treated with cream A were cured so males treated with cream A the total number of males who were treated with cream A was 124 and out of them how many were cured that would be 124 take away 67 that is 124 take away 67 again you can use a calculator which is 57 over 57 over 124 okay so let's move on uh, what is the probability that a male who had been treated and still has a rash has the rash was treated with medical so medical cream A so what's the total what's the probability that a male who had been treated and still has rash was treated with medical cream A so what is that number so let's go back to the so this is the male this is the male who had still rash so this is 154 male so 154 male so let's read the question male who who had been treated the male who had been treated and still has rash so what's the total number of male who was treated who had been treated and still has rash is 154 so this is the probability is out of 154 and out of that how many were had used cream A which is 67 so that is 67 out of 154 
Okay. So let's uh, continue with the question. So again, I have pasted this on a new page. So the question is, from the same table, the question is, what is the, what is the risk that a person treated? What is the risk that a person treated with cream A? So a person treated with cream A is not cured. So what is the total number of people who were treated, people, it's not male, it's the people who were treated with cream A is 281. So the probability is out of 281. So out of them, how many were not cured? Well, the total number of people who were not cured is 152. So this is 152 out of 281. Okay, so that if you write as a decimal, which will be 0 0.54. So in other words, there is 54% probability or risk that uh, people using cream A is not getting cured. Okay, so now what's the next question? What is the risk per 100 people that a, pers that a person treated with cream A is not cured. So that would be out of 100, it will be 54. So which is 54 percent. So out of 100, there were 54 people who would not be cured if they're using cream A. Okay, so let's move on. What is the risk that a person treated with cream B, moisturizing cream B is not cured? So what's the total number of people who used cream B? Is 200 and, uh, let me go up, sorry. The total number of people who were using cream B was 254. And out of them, out of them, 209 were not cured. So we can say there is 209. For this, it is out of 254. So 209 out of 254 were not cured. So if you want to write this as a decimal, that is 0 0.82. So in other words, out of 100 people, there were 82 people or 82% probability or risk of not being cured if you're using moisturizing cream B. Okay, so now this is what is a difficult question. Calculate the relative risk of a person not being cured using cream a, cream B as the baseline risk. Okay, so basically the question is, what is the relative risk of not being cured if base B, B's, sorry, moisturizing cream B is the base risk? So you're comparing with respect to moisturizing cream. So it's a good habit to write. We're comparing B to A. Okay, so we are talking about, so if the risk of not being cured by B is 0.82, the risk of not being cured by A is 0.54. Okay, so if this is 1, if this is say 100, so let's say, okay, let's say if, if this is 1, what is x? This is the question. So well, we can use proportion and say this would be uh, 0 0.82, 0 0.82 over x over 1 is equal to 0 0.54, 0 0.54 over x. The ratio of this over this is equal to the ratio of this over this. So cross multiplying so so can you understand 0.8 to x 0.8 to x is equal to 0.54 and now dividing both sides by 0.82 x is equal to 0.54 divided by 0.82 okay and this is the number if you divide if you use a calculator you're going to get 0.66 so let's understand what's the meaning of this number. That's what the next question is. So what we are saying is, 
if the risk of not being cured by B is 1, the risk of not cured by A is only 0.66. Okay, we already know the risk of not being cured by B is more than A. So in other words, you can say the relative risk, the relative risk of not being cured, not being cured this is how much more okay so in other words 0.66 is 34% more 34% more risk uh, one takeaway point 66 is 0.34 am I right yeah so the relative risk of not being cured by B or moisturizing cream B is 34% more, 34% more than cream A. Okay, suppose if the question was, what's the, if, say, let me pause this video and I'll come back. If, suppose the question is, if moisturizing A is the, baseline risk what how would you describe that so here you can say the relative risk of not being cured by B as the baseline risk or comparing with moisturizing B as the base you can say it is there is 34 percent more chance that you're not being you're not going to be cured by moisturizing cream B than comparing with the medical cream A Okay, so as I told you, if suppose the question is framed like this, if suppose moisturizing cream A is the baseline, you're comparing with moisturizing cream A. So let me say, say it again. The probability of not being cured by A is 54% and the probability of not cured by B is 82%. So obviously we know the, the risk, the probability or the risk of not being cured by uh, absolute difference between these two is 84 take away 84 take away 50, 82 take away 54 this is the absolute difference okay so that anyone can say so this is this is how much so this is 8 so this is 28 percent there's 28 percent more risk of not being cured by a now the question is not absolute risk it is relative risk Suppose if you have, the question is, what is the relative risk of not being cured using moisturizing A as the baseline risk? So let's say A and B. We're comparing A and B. Okay, so I'm going to explain this. So the risk of not being cured by A is 0.54, and the risk of cured not being cured by B is 0.82. So let's put it in, in terms of 100. If there are 100 people, not cured by A, what will be X? That's what we want to find. So using proportion, so let's say we can write like this, X over, you can also write X over 0.84 is equal to 100 over 0.54. I'm just reversing the order. You can, you can also go 0.54 over 100 is equal to 0.84 over x or you can also go this is actually a proportion so this divided by this x divided by 0.84 is equal to 100 over 0.54 uh, 0.82 sorry not 0.84 oops smaller eraser this should be 0.82 so this is 0.82 and this is also 0.82 so let me be tidy as possible so this is 0.82 so now cross multiplying you can understand x is equal to 100 times 0.82 100 times 0.82 divided by 0.54 so let me bring my calculator. Okay, so this is same as 
uh, 100 times 0 0.82 is 82 divided by 0.54 or you can use a calculator I can't find my calculator out so I've used so this is using the calculator it is 151.85 okay so this is say basically you can say this is 152 okay so in other words if there are 100 people using cream A not cured there will be 152 people not cured using B so in other words there is 54 52 percent more relative risk of not cured of not being cured by B when comparing with A okay and so that's what this question is compare the relative risk of not being cured so you can say comparing comparing with A comparing with A as the baseline as baseline you can say I'm not going to write the whole thing you can say there is relative risk of 52 percent much probability or risk of not being cured by cream B so comparing uh, so this is with A now comparing with B comparing with B what did we say okay uh, the risk would be I forgot the number so that would be uh, basically 66 so that is 34 percent okay or uh, yeah so that is 34 comparing with B there is relative risk of 34 percent not being cured uh, using moisturizing cream B okay so in one year 750 uh, males were treated with cream A how many males would you expect to be cured okay so let's go back to the table so so let me so there are how many people who were cured how many people who had used cream A 124 out of that how many were cured 60 124 so let me use it so this is uh, it, this is out of 124 and out of 124 how many were cured it is 57 okay so if 750 were people are using you have to times it by 750 to find the number and that would be around 345 males so 345 males can expect to be cured using cream A